Come on in, everybody. Ooh, <laughs> this is a new piece of artwork on the wall. Katie. <laughs> A special gift for Katie. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we're going for the camp. All right. The fire in the back here. All right. Do you, did you upload icebreakers to here? Um, I didn't, but I, uh, hopefully we're going to be talking about those five questions that I posted in right. Discord um, regarding last Community Sunday. Ideally, mm. um... You all have some wonderful things to say in that regard. Um, so I didn't plan on the, the icebreakers. Should we get everybody in? All right. Um, let's just dig in. Welcome, everyone. Let's, what do we have first on our list for discussion topics? Um, okay. So this is really appropriate being it is Community Sundays. So if you've been here for a while, you've seen some of the different things that we do for Community Sunday. Sometimes it's simply sitting around this fire, getting to know each other better. That should be quiet. Um, it, and uh, sometimes it may be um, us playing, which I'm really excited, the 25th, I believe, the end of this month, Simeon is going to be taking us on another Bible experience. So sometimes we'll have these um, like gamified um, scripture based experiences. And uh, I always just love those so much. Sometimes we'll do uh, other like I do want to get back to who wants to be a millionaire um, it's both uh, a way we to engage and learn more about scripture and the Bible version and always to, to highlight like one person and get to know a lot more about them all in a fun way. Um, and other times it's just maybe what we spoke of on Sermon Sunday uh, required much more discussion than we had time to, to talk on on Sunday. And sometimes we'll just gather and and talk that out together, dig in and see every little nugget we can find in that scripture. So our first question is, what would you like to see in a community Sunday? Keeping in mind that it can't be something that requires a, a lot of extra work on my part to make it happen. So if you've got this super fantastic idea, but it takes a lot of extra work, um, I'd love to hear from how you could help us achieve that goal that you'd like to see in Community Sunday. So it's going to be something that we're all um, engaging in together. Um, so we'll just start with, with Miss Red Panda. And if you don't have something to in, engage and answer to that question, um, don't feel bad about it. You know, we can move on. Not just you, Panda, and anybody and everybody. Just go ahead and say, eh, I'll pass on any question that you'd, you prefer to pass, and we'll just go down there. So do you have any ideas of what you'd like to see in Community Sunday? Um, and if you do, how do you think you can help us get there? Um, I have no, I have no idea. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. And you're rather new too, so you haven't experienced a lot of our other experiences. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Simeon. Simeon is typing. Can you hear me, guys? Uh, I'm, yes. um, I had to turn Make off my right microphone is. because I'm <laughs> translating actually for my dad who is here with me here. So he's uh, oh, nice. <laughs> he's Hello. at my uh, at my home and he's on the on the, on the other uh, uh, quest and so I'm translating for him. Um, like that's why I had to turn it off. No, I like the community Sundays the way cool. they are, and of course I will try to get this interactive thing that I'm doing in more. I, I would like Aww. to do this more. So that's what I You'd like. like to yeah. do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as you're, as long as it's not too much for you and you, um, I know I would love no. to see more of it for yeah. sure. I know we and, all would. And maybe, maybe one thing I would like is uh, if, if, if I'm sometimes not there or some, something like that, I would also like to see other people using the things I built to lead the community interactive time, which would be interesting Ooh. would be a different way to do it. And yeah. 
And sometimes I love that. Even That's maybe some new idea. people that didn't do it before because it's easy. You don't need to preach a lot there and just have to handle the people a little bit and help them get into the costumes and stuff like that. It's a way to kind of learn if you're not kind of a preacher guy or want to try out how to lead a service or something like this. But we could oh, that's discover fantastic. people do that. Yeah. yeah. So if anyone, um, if you've if you've been to um, some of Samuel's experiences, where he creates this like really interactive um, walkthrough of uh, story and scripture, um, and the person who leads that event, Samuel, usually, um, but he's really excited to have other people utilize his work. Um, and and lead these as well. So if that's something you're interested in, please submit a ticket on our Discord server. Love to talk with you. Um, it's it's all the hard work has been done um, in advance, so it's a really easy thing for you to step into and a great growing and learning experience as well. So thank you. Fantastic. Simeon Sad, Wetzel, I know you're new here and welcome, by the way. How exciting. Oh, we're so very, very happy that you came here today. Um, uh, I know you're brand new, but in the spirit of Community Sunday, the reason for Community Sundays is um, so that we can first off get to know each other more because we are called by God to love one another. And we can't love one another if we don't know who each other are. So there's a focus on the community engagement and involvement, less pastor to community, more more of a community-based action. Is there anything that you could think of that might help us in that regard? And I understand if you don't have anything, this is your first day. I really put you on the spot. Remember, Simeon is translating for him, too. So. I do. I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know. For the, I know time, time will be a moment. Yeah. But I don't want, and you know, you never know where where God will inspire, and or you translating it in text. Oh, he is fantastic. Hopefully, Simeon put what I said in fewer words. <laughs> yeah, I tried to. Uh, he's trying to put on his microphone and say something in German, and I will translate. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just know I usually use a lot of words to express short thoughts. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. We cannot hear you if we, if, we, if you are talking. We, we cannot hear yeah, you. Yes, Simeon is going to um, translate after because he doesn't speak English. And so Simeon. Okay. I assume maybe that was a pass. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my, I think did it might have been. Did my dad say something or did you not hear him? I didn't hear him. I, I didn't know. He said, he's, he said he's happy to be here and to get to know you guys. And uh, yeah, he, he might be coming on every once in a while. And, yeah, I will try to translate, and if he's coming for community time on Tuesday, then he will have to try to speak English to you guys, and you will have to use oh. uh, easy words to talk to him and uh, uh, see if that works. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that there's probably, we can even utilize, even if someone has to bring their cell phone with them to church, like some sort of text to, um, you know, the translation type app, I think would be really helpful as well. So we'd love to have you back. I, should we call you Alex or or Wetzel or Wetzel Alex? While Simeon is asking of how um, he preferred to be referred to, uh, uh, Zeke, it looks like you're 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 next. Alex. Ideas, Alex prefers mm -hmm. Alex. All right, thanks for joining us, Alex. It really was is a special treat. I mean, for me, I miss growing in more of a Bible study type of atmosphere. Not necessarily as a leader teaching, but going through the scriptures and each one reading, giving their interpretation of what that scripture means and and how we can grow from one another and build each other off of that 
not necessarily having uh, a direct leader leading us necessarily, just more as a group effort to walk through. I like it. Yep, exactly. Some of that discussion on scripture, but that is led not by the pastor, but um, but by the community and giving everybody a chance to share their insight. I think it's wonderful. Thank you, Zeke. Adam, any 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 input? Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we uh, do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, actually, I like uh, this VR church. It's the most that I can meet uh, different people from everywhere. Uh, I live in the UK. Uh, actually, I come from China. Uh, yeah, this is a, it, to me, it's a very... Uh, it's a very new experience for me to meet fans in a uh, in a virtual uh, place, and yeah, uh, it, let me know. Uh, on the level on the internet, it's not only the games, but also have the people who is believe in God. Yeah, and mm. I think it's very, it's a wonderful experience for me. And um, yeah, so what I should do for our church, uh, actually, I don't know, but I think if I can attend more frequently, I will know God's will. And also, um, yeah, that's, um, although I am not a sociable people, but I think I can, if I can make more friends and meet more brother and sister in the in our church, I think I will, it will, it will encourage me a lot. It may a lot for me. Yeah. That is so wonderful. That is so wonderful. Just the being able to, because it's something I think we might take for granted, the ability to connect with other Christians. Um, it, some of us are just like grown up in, with a Christian household and Christian friends and everywhere you look, you've just got all of this, all of these people who will encourage you in your faith, but not everybody has that. Um, a lot of people don't, especially people who are finding us here in, um, in VR, they're, they're like less likely to have that type of, uh, uh, structure, um, than say in the physical space because uh in the physical space usually people know each other they're from town they're from the neighborhood you know <laughs> and so they have access i love that this is helping you that really means a lot to me that just this time that we have together meeting these people uh, and we're going to talk a little bit more about in in a moment how better can we get people to really connect to the point where adam if you're having a hard time you can go oh indy i am really struggling can can you talk with me can you pray with me um so we're going to talk more about how we can form real connections so that we can really really do what what we're called to do um, and to be there to support, encourage, and and love each other. So thank you, Adam. That's wonderful. Yay. Huh. We are family here. Exactly what Ms. Red Panda just said. We are family here. That's how church is supposed to be. Alice, what do you think, young lady? I don't think anything. <laughs> Why are you nothing, picking on me? Nothing, nothing going on in here. No, no, my brain is my brain is void. I, I mean, <laughs> Understandable. I just, <laughs> Got a lot well, going on in there lately. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> community Sundays are great because you get to chat with people, and I guess I like the more the ones where we're just chatting with people and doing something casual, um, or maybe mm -hmm. playing a game or something. Um, but that's that's what so I like just, to see because you just get to know each other in a natural way it's not forced or anything and with the sam with the sam and sunday you're kind of sat listening to one person that's less talking because people have to head off but yeah yeah so that time just forming those connections like we were talking about just just more casual yeah, yeah. um Super take cash. all of the pressure off because it's not easy for everyone to meet new people that's like a super stressful yeah. thing for a lot of people uh, so keep the stress off. Little play, lighthearted, community time. I like it. Very good, Indy. Hello. Can you, you guys like hear share? me in this regard? 
Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. This is my first um, community Sunday, so I'm I'm not really sure in the past what you guys have done. Um, but I do like Zeke's idea because I feel like it would g- give me more confidence to talk about religion, like with other friends, you know, and peers um, outside of VR as well. Like I know that I go through this journey a lot and I keep a lot of it kind of like internally as I'm going through it. But I feel like it would be cool to gain kind of like get rid of some of that shyness of talking about it openly um, as well. So I feel like an idea like what Zeke brought up would be very helpful. Oh, that's wonderful. I love the insight where you're where you're sharing, uh, like, not just a the good idea, but how it will serve you. And if it's serving you well in that way, it's it's going to be serving others well in that way as well, giving you the confidence to just talk because I get it. Sometimes it, 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 it really can be like you're you're you can sometimes feel afraid to speak up what if somebody disagrees what if somebody doesn't like it like like the that bold confidence that we should have when when sharing um god uh i'm excited to hopefully help you get to where you feel um just freedom to to speak without without that fear that's wonderful andy thank you thank very you. much yeah phantom what say you? Uh, I like I like the Bible study idea because you know since we it is every other Sunday we go over it in you know with the sermon and then could go over the same thing in the Bible study and, and that. But I'm not volunteering to lead it, so you know who knows. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not volunteering to lead. No, 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 it's all good. And as Zeke mentioned, the Bible study thing because it's not about a pastor to um, the community, it's the community's community. So for those that would like to help lead this time, there's really low pressure, because it's not like you're gonna be standing up teaching. Instead, basically your job, if you're gonna be leading that time, would just be to it, just encourage people to, to to participate. Just, hey, the same thing I'm doing right here. Do what you, what, you have any insight into this? What do you think? Um, as a leader, you're actually doing hopefully less speaking um, uh, so that others can have that opportunity to chime in. So again, if you are interested in leading these type of uh, scripture walkthroughs after the sermon, maybe coming back and digging in uh, a little deeper, love to hear from you. Please submit a ticket. Um, we we would be grateful for that um, for your help in this way. And again, I think this would be helpful for for the person who's leading it as well. As Indy was saying, there's this confidence that grows as you um, lead these kind of things and as you talk more openly. Um, so yes, please let's let's do that, Michelle. You snuck in a little little under the wire. You're um you you might have missed the question. It's okay. Um, so we're talking about what would you like to see on community Sundays? Like what type of experiences would you like to see? And if it's something that requires, you know, a lot of work to make it happen, uh, how can you help us to to make it happen? And it's okay if you don't have any insight, but if you do. Yeah, nothing, nothing offhand. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, let's let's let. Oh, Bootsy has. Could you hear him? Bootsy says, "You never asked me, Aaron. I never asked you, by the way, because you're. I don't know why." And Everett snuck back in. Um, yes, Aaron, what do you think? Of, well, what do you think about this? I have I have two um, suggestions. The first, yeah, my mic is on, right? Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. I just yes. I I can't hear myself. I usually have it so I can hear myself, but I can't. Um so two suggestions. I'm gonna start with one. Um we need more potlucks. We need to do more potlucks. Mm-hmm. Um because <laughs> you know how like, you go to like churches and stuff, they usually have like a potluck dinner. Yeah, yeah we need to have some of those. We can bust um, out the donuts <laughs> and the champagne. Yeah. Yeah. Um but no the the second mm. one, um a little more serious on this one, is um Alice brought this up a while ago. Um, I'm throwing you under the bus because, Alice, you said you had no ideas. 
Um, <laughs> but <laughs> Alice actually suggested this one to me, um, like a music Sunday where we have people who like share their own music. Obviously, I don't think Ooh. we'd be able to stream it with copyright and stuff. Um, but like have someone sing a special or um, play an instrument or something like that um, up on stage and for everyone to, to enjoy. So there's an idea. I think there. that's a fantastic. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, that's another thing, please. Oh, Phantom's trying to make that pot luck happen, but uh, no, luck, no luck on there. Uh, no luck on the pot, pot luck. Um, <laughs> so, okay, help, help yourself to the floor pizza, everybody. <laughs> it's like a good thirty-second rule when you're in pizza, VR. Pizza. The five-second rule doesn't apply. Yeah, grab grab, grab some grab pizza. It. Grab it. <laughs> And, and so that's another thing. Like, if you are um, would like to share uh, in uh, worship, uh, it, it'd be really cool to hear either your singing or your musical instrument. I think that would be wonderful. Um, ticket, submit a ticket. Let us know that you. This is something you'd like to share with us. You like to sing? We'd love to hear you, Miss Red Panda. Don't forget. To, Sub submit a ticket um, so that Guess we what? can make sure to, to make that time for you guys. Yeah. What's, Hi, what, I'm an what? artist. Hi. Oh, you are an artist. Did you guys know there's a channel in Discord that's specifically what? for us to share our art with each other in our Discord server? I am, yeah, I am very not. Not. You should check it out. Love to see some of your, your but work in there. I can't go on Discord. Oh. I real my mom. I can't let my mom know because she might ground me for my tap for my VR. Oh, okay. So if you're not supposed to be in Discord, definitely don't. I don't want to. Don't. I don't want to yeah. encourage you to do something I'm your mom doesn't want you to do. VR. Oh, very cool. Yeah, you're allowed to be here. You just can't use Discord. Uh, understandable, yeah. and I get that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I that's, just really want to be a creator. I'm just really oh, yeah. Well, there's a lot of create, create, creative, artistic um, here in Rec Room through the building. I don't know if you've gotten into that yet, but um, that's a really cool way to to use your artistic skills. Um, is, and thank you, Alice, for the, the wonderful wall of text here so I don't have to keep peeking at my phone. Um, this is great. So how can we better, um, how can we be better at connecting with one another? That's what I kind of brought up a little earlier. Um, remembering that not everyone has someone who can strengthen in their faith and provide the same comfort that God gives us. So how can we improve this? What do you guys think? How can we better get real connections forming between each other and making sure that someone's always there? Yes, um, Red Panda. Um, make make uh, hang out uh, events and like do more hang events in the I love it, making more hangout events. So this is another uh, interesting thing in, in Discord. If you're not familiar, we have these, um, their community channels. And they're specifically for just like someone who is like into Minecraft saying, hey, I'm into Minecraft. Anyone else in the Minecraft? Get some Minecraft people together, and they can form a regular weekly uh, event or a monthly event or whatever they want it to be, um, where other people who love Minecraft um, can meet and spend time together. And whatever game or activity um, that y you enjoy doing is something that helps you to connect with others. Um, by all means, please utilize that section in our Discord channel we'd love to see more engagement there um allowing that opportunity and maybe it's not even an event maybe you're just going to say hey i love talking um being able to have the freedom to talk about god without worrying what other people are going to say or think so if anybody else wants to have discussions like indy was saying so it, it doesn't have to be a game time it could be a time of discussion of just like being in a comfortable space where you can um feel op feel comfortable opening up and, and making friendships all in that community section of our discord oh. yeah who else has some 
ideas on how to connect each other with each other better. Michelle? Um, we should make like the world a better place. Mm. Yeah, I agree with you. And um, I, we would love to hear, like, uh, how would you go, how would you do that? How would you personally do that, Michelle? I'd love to hear. We should like, make, some ideas. Like, like, events for, like, church and saying each people have their own destiny and you should make your own place and you should make a world a better place and give people food and give people water, like anything. You should help the orphans. You should help the homeless. Mm, absolutely. I could not agree more. And you're already helping us answer one of our questions that's a little further down on this list. Um, it is wonderful. We should all be actively loving each other. And, and, and Michelle just gave some really good examples of what that um, may look like uh, for you, helping people in need and it definitely makes the world a better place mm -hmm. i couldn't agree more yeah any other ideas how to better connect each other with each other jenna's got something i think yeah, maybe jenna's got something prayer night i love that Yay. so there is um in he leads He's 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 working out of VR chat. His name is Shy Breezy, but he's also active in um, Discord. Um, I know he has some desires to create some prayer centered activities, um, whether it be a prayer night or like different prayer experiences for different reasons, different times, whatever. I know he could use the help though. Um, in doing this. So if prayer is something that you um, are moved to do for others, if this is something, I know Zeke's going to be leaving here in, in just a matter of, of weeks as he's got some really new, um, wonderful ways that he's going to serve in the, in the physical space around him. Um, so we won't have Zeke here to, to pray uh, like after church or so we need more prayer warriors. And even if you are in here, there may be and there may be a way, not maybe there will be a way for you to connect with Shy Breezy um, and and help with prayer in the Discord space, even if you don't go to VR chat. So Submit a ticket. Let us know you want to be more involved in making these prayer nights and prayer experiences happen. Please. Thank you. Wonderful. Any other ideas how to connect with each other? So it sounded like more one. experiences in general. Yeah, Zeke. So we used to have, uh, I think, what's called worship nights at one point for a little bit. Mm. So you could do... Worship, you could find some uh, music, uh, worship music to do, and then use that worship music as your prayer gathering to mix the both together. And so that people can worship, and then if they need prayer, you pray during that, and people can enjoy that both. I think that is fantastic. That's a wonderful way to get people to connect. And again, that's something that um, we are going to need your help with. So if you are passionate about uh, creating this time for, for both worship and prayer together, please let us know. We want to help you to make, to bring to fruition what you need um, from church, what you need from this time together. Um, so submit a ticket, say, hey, I really want to help make this worship night happen. Um, and we'll connect you with the people that you need to connect with so that you can do that together and make this a thing. Um, Thumper, Thumper brought up a great uh, idea. He just sent me a message. Yeah, I know you have a physical church as well, which is fantastic. Physical church, virtual church, you can do them both. You can do them all. Some people have three churches. Um, it's really cool. Uh, obviously, they're immersing so much of their, they're like weaving God into their lives every moment that they can. Um, you do too. Yeah, exactly. Multiple two churches um, for, for Zeke. 
uh, oh, Thumper's out the window. I see. I was just looking around for him because uh, <laughs> Thumper had this. He, he was talking about um, a, a theme theme park night here in Rec Room, which would be a fantastic <laughs> way to connect with one another in a very casual way, like Alice was talking. Where you will, you can meet here in rec room, go and hang out. And this, there's several theme parks actually that Thumper has created. Um, and my church is only on rec room and Discord. Okay, rec room and Discord. Aha, not physical and rec room. It's rec room and Discord. Got it, Red Panda. Um, so Thumper, let us know uh, when you'd like to do one of these things and we can like help announce it encourage others to come uh if you can lead it we want we'd love to see that happen um not to mention thumper has actually started this work long ago but my the last year for me it was really really hard so i was like struggling behind over and over and over I'm finally got my footing back where I'm not trying to catch up. And and Thumper has made a theme park just for us. Um, he made a theme park with the coolest rides and they don't even make your stomach weird, which is incredible for VR. Um, and so we're supposed to have a, a volunteer fair going in the future where we use one of his uh, theme parks, you know, volunteer fair with things like a ride called the prayer plunge or uh, the screaming streaming coaster where people can come and ride the coaster if they like. And there would be someone to talk about what it's like to volunteer for for streaming and and have a having a, an event like that should be coming up. Um, but Thumper, take it, take it. Rec room, create booth, rec room. <gasps> oh. Yeah, we do need a booth for restaurant. Yeah. Um, that takes some builders. So can um, I at least build? Can I at least help build the booth too? Um, will you do me a favor and do what all what we ask all of our volunteers to do is submit a ticket so we can talk to you about building. Is that cool? Can you do that for yeah. us? Oh, you can't do it because yeah. you're not in Discord. Um, yeah. that that's complicated. Um, yeah. Why? Can well, why do don't we? Cool. Well, no, 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 no. It's all for free. Nobody gets paid. <laughs> uh, it's a free thing. It's not a paid gig. Um, uh, so, yeah, let's you and I talk um, after service to find a time where we can meet because we can't do it on Discord. So after after service, you and I talk. OK, cool beans. OK, I'm going to give um, you a helpful. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Katie. Oh, um, Thumper theme parks. Ah, so he's he's opened up a little <gasps> thing where you can um behind here where you can so check out some yummy. of his theme park stuff. That is a wonderful way though. Um, uh, he's got he's hit the nail on the head here. How we can actually do things for each other. How we can support one another. Thumper is my um, a passionate builder. Um, I spent years here working really hard on creating experiences for people. And so for us to go and, and, and check out and his worlds and, you know, like and subscribe, that kind of thing, um, is a wonderful encouragement. Um, and, and again, he's even using some of these buildings for future church experiences. Um, so the more we can support and encourage each other in that way, uh, I think is fantastic. Got to keep it on time. We have... Um, only 10 minutes left. So any more ideas before we move to the next question? How we can connect one another better. I think we got some good ideas already. All of these ideas, mind you, require all of you. They cannot happen without you all making it happen. There's no other way. So if you want to see some of these ideas, whether it be one that you shared or one that someone else has shared that you're passionate about, we got to hear from you in our Discord server. Let us know how you can help to make these yeah. things happen. And I would like see? to mention that uh, a lot of us will end up looking to the pastors to do the work for us or leaders. And just know that you got to be willing to do your part in creating these ideas. We can help you along the way. Uh, and I'll give you a good example. I've uh, had uh, in another platform we were in, now debunked, uh, 
there were two people that came up to me who wanted to do a worship night. And I told them what was required of them and certain things we couldn't do and certain things we could do. And I never heard back from them. So that's an example of someone trying, like they want me to do the work for them, but they were just going to host. Sometimes it requires more than being a host. Sometimes you have to be required to do the work. We can help you along the way, but you have to do your part in creating those ideas. And each member can do that. Um, and I just want to emphasize, don't rely on me, Elena, or the leaders to create, because we have busy schedules and we might not be able to do the ideas you have in a time period that you have. We can help you with scheduling or help you just kind of get things started. But eventually we want to leave you alone to be able to lead that group. Mm. Thank you, Zeke. Exactly yeah, what, what, you, what Zeke. he said. To see how these things come to fruition, it's going to require all hands on deck. So um, we want to create a, a, a space for the community to make these things happen, to, to, to form what they want in a church, to, to, to bring that to fruition. Um, I'm very excited about this. Alice is saying something, I think. I see the little tap, 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 tap. No, 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 no. So, so next, what do we have here? What would inspire you to live life? Because this is really deep, near and dear to my heart. What would inspire you to live life with God and live life with each other? So what that means to live life, you might hear from Pastor Coco a lot, is like, life 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 implies all times not just a moment not just like you you pay attention to god one one hour a week when you sign up to do a thing that you're purposefully you know what i mean but like that you wake up in the morning and you're like oh god what a beautiful day thank you god that you're driving to work and you realize you're late and you're like oh god i really i know i should have left earlier but now i'm in this pickle can you can you help me through what i'm going through um I think of being locked in with each other. Oh, oh another another COVID. <laughs> that did make a lot more look, online look. community grow. That's for sure. He said something. Uh, yes, he was just talking about being being locked in 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 with each other. Um, so, and this might be something you need more time to think on, but we want to hear it. So please let us know because we need help. Yes, Red Panda. Um. We can bring a lot of uh, people in one place, like a, like a big community, to uh, support God and uh, help others. Mm, yes, in serving one another, in doing good works, in loving one another. Um, this will undoubtedly help you grow in your spiritual faith by by serving one another, doing this thing that God w w has called us to do. It, it, he's like, uh, love me with everything you have and love each other as yourselves. Um, this is his desire for us. This is what he wants, not just from us, but for us, because there's a for us. We benefit when we do this. Um, and so, yes, the more you serve and help others, the closer God will be um, to you, in your mind, in your heart. And the more time you spend with God, the the closer, the, the more blessings you'll be able to receive from him. He's like always trying to give them to us. But if we're not paying him attention, um, how are we going to receive them? Right. So I think it's fantastic. Thank you, Red Panda. So how um, can we encourage others and ourselves to do more good works? Hey, we were just talking about that. Um, and then how specifically can we do this in an online ministry? Because Pastor Coco and I have been talking about this for a long time. How can we encourage this active love, this, these acts of service, both in the physical spaces that you all live in but, and all in a digital ministry? 
how can we, you know, it's easy. The physical church was like, okay, well, let's do a pancake breakfast and take the proceeds and, 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 and give it to the women's shelter. Um, okay, let's all gather so-and-so sick. Let's go make dishes and bring food. So while they're ill or injured, they don't have to worry about uh, cooking, which is really hard. Physical spaces have it seemingly easy in that respect, but we also have some benefits that physical spaces don't. And how can we use those benefits? The, the, how can we do this right in both places? Any ideas? We really need help in this respect. We want to do this better. Hmm. Nothing new? No, no, no. If you think of a any idea, there's no bad ideas. If you think of an, a, an idea in this respect, how can we create a community of servers, a community of helpers, a community in both the digital and the physical space? If after leaving this hour, please, in our Discord server, let us know. We desperately want to do this better. <laughs> So uh, I think this, we got made it to our last question with just a couple minutes to spare here. Um, so, oh, that was our last question. Oh, how can we serve in both our physical and digital spaces? Yeah, that, so that was our last question. Um, does anyone no, else there's one have of anything? Maybe I didn't ask the right question. Oh, there's another question. Thank you, Alice. I thought there was. Yeah, it um, just didn't. It didn't fit on the wall over there. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you for doing that. By the way, it does make things easier. Here's our last question for today. How can we manage situations where our capacity in platforms like Rec Room and potentially VR Chat is exceeded? Um, so what that means is like uh, uh, the rooms that we meet in for services um, are caps. They have to be or people start crashing. So some places it might be 30 people or 50 people. Um, as we continue to grow, does anybody have in the insight for rec room or VR chat or platforms in general, how we can serve you well if we need to be split up? So in the past, like in alt space, we had the abil ability to mirror ourselves in, even though we were in this room, we would show up as if we were in the other room. The only, they could hear us clearly, we just couldn't hear them. But that that's gone, so we can't do that. Um, strategies. Yes, Phantom, yes. Yay. Well, I don't know if it, it would work, but I know uh, Rec Room just added party chat so that you can talk to each yeah. other, I think, even from different rooms. <laughs> yeah. So we wouldn't be able to see you, but you might actually be able to preach for to, to everyone at a party in two different rooms. I don't know if that would work or not. No. That would be that insane. actually that that lets something let us um I'm so glad it's being recorded so we can um remember all the wonderful goodness here. Um I this is good. That's actually at least in rec room um a reasonable um thing to try out. We can have the identical world in another space. Like, that's easy enough. You can I, copy and duplicate I worlds. The voice chat thing. It actually works. It actually oh, works. it's not working? It, it, it does. It does work. It does. Oh, it, it does. does work. Do you know if it works oh, across? Me? If you're in different yeah, rooms? Yes, it does. I think I gotta restart second. my headset. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll be here. Go, go ahead. Restart your headset. I'll see you when you get back. So what what was your what was the concern? It does work, but it doesn't. What? I think uh, she was just confirming it does work. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it does it work. It, Yay! I'm not sure what the, if there's a maximum party limit or anything though. I don't know if that gets us any any oh. ordering or not. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you can have 80 people in, oh, a, <laughs> in a party. Yeah, in a party. there's a party limit. It if works you want now. To, go to different rooms. Everyone in uh, like different uh, games and stuff. There is a party limit that you have to keep in mind. Uh, I think it's like no more than 16 or 20 or something like that. So you mm. have to keep that in mind. And then the second thing I wouldn't mind mentioning is just like Rec Room, it's like a different experience for your chat is, I think you should utilize like the uh, VR chat. I used to be in VR chat. 
Uh, I think you should utilize the avatars in a way to make it more interactive in a way that they can that can reach that type of audience. Whereas in Requiem, you can build mm. these builds and you can have this more interactive experience. Requiem is all about the interactive experience. And that's where you want to shine. Um, I don't know about Final Fantasy, to be honest, since I've never played that. But I think you should treat them as different ways to reach people rather mm -hmm. than treating each one the same. We don't want this service to be the same as it is in there. We want different mm. experiences so that each one of you can experience a different version of your church. That way it would be um, more beneficial to reach other people. Yeah, we've actually used the avatar thing in the past in VR chat, and it was pretty cool um, for like special events. It's something we, we certainly, unless we had a team of people who want to volunteer to go out and find the avatars on a regular basis that would suit the scripture well, that would be yeah. cool. Um, if we didn't have a volunteer to do that, then that would add a ridiculous amount, probably more time than sermon time for me to find yeah. hunt down those avatars that we need but it is great for special events and if we have somebody to help out that would be really cool we'll see we'll see alice was saying something but i think she might have crashed yeah. did you kick her out thumper <laughs> jenna said something too here hello everyone we have a vr oh. church example template is what jenna said Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have a, a template for VR church. Is that for a booth or is that a oh, role? Ah, for retcon. Oh, for retcon. Okay. Jenna, if we follow Jenna here, she's going to show us this cool um, thing they've been working on a booth for retcon. How do I make a booth for my church map? Ooh, that I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we do have. I wanted to say, um, with the you're just showing us their chat. template. Oh, this is the um, the Recon template. Everybody in the call is on the same volume. Uh, you can't like the other people. Oh. So being in one is, I found it a horrible experience. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> Uh, but like, so if you're preaching and you're in that, and other people talk, it might not uh, be so good. We need it would to be pray loud and... since we're. Almost yeah, time. we're almost time. We're actually after time. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So um, let us go ahead and close in prayer. Then I encourage everybody to come and check out all the cool new things that were popped up out by the community. Um, oh, Jenna would love to help. Jenna, you and let's I talk on to Tuesday. Help. And, and Michelle, too, we're going to talk. We're going to find a time to talk today. Um, all right. You uh, and I, because you can't give on Discord. Ahead. Um, yes, please. So Zeke's going to close us in prayer, and um, you would love to help. To oh, you guys are awesome. Those of you that want to help, we are so grateful. Please submit a ticket in our Discord server. That's how we connect with you to help you, okay? Right. I know you're waiting for a week. Pray and then we can talk after. Thank you, Zeke. Thank you. Uh, God, thanks and Jesus, thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you for all these wonderful ideas. And I pray that if you're being led to, I pray that uh, you um, create these ideas. It will take all of us to create and make these ideas a reality. Um, and I pray for everyone watching who want to become a part of this. I pray that they come too and want to create their own ideas as well. And I pray that uh, I also ask everyone watching on YouTube uh, later here, uh, what are some ideas that you have uh, that can better serve the, the, the VR Church community here? I'll leave them in the comments below. And thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>